Good morning, folks. Thanks to our follower for submitting this tip request question asking if I need to enter my GRE test scores in the standardized text section of PTCAS and have my official scoring reports sent to the DPT programs that I am applying to. And the answer is yes, you need to do both. Okay, so you have this section. This is from the PTCAS Help Center right here. Um, you have the self-reported test scores. You're going to add test scores right here. Um, it's found under the standardized test section, which is located under the academic history window in PTCAS. So then you're going to find the test that you took, click add test score, and um, select yes that you've taken the test, enter the date you took the test, your applicable scores, and your test ID. Um, so that part's pretty straightforward. You can also add a planned test as well, but that part's pretty straightforward. Where a lot of people get confused and have some difficulty is when they are, are requesting their official GRE scores be sent to the programs that they are applying to. Because let's think about this. If you're just self-reporting your GRE scores and there's no official verification, I think the vast majority of people would be honest and they would submit their scores um, with integrity. But there also are people who may inflate their scores a little bit and they may not be as uh, high as they actually say they are. So as a result of that, you need another party to come in and to officially recognize what your score was on the GRE so it matches with what you've entered into PTCAS, okay? So there are a couple different ways that you can submit your official GRE scores. You're gonna use the program PTCAS GRE code or the university or department codes, okay? And if you visit the APTA program directory with PTCAT or with the, the PTCAS codes and the university codes for GRE, um, it's right here, okay? And then it also gives you the last acceptable test date. If there are multiple codes or you are confused about which one to use, okay, you should go to the program's program-specific website, which you can just click on right there. Um, I'm just looking at Arkansas State because that's the first one that has two listed there and they're different from each other. So click on that and then see if there's any additional clarification. And if you're still confused, contact the program liaison to see if they need you to just submit it to one or both of them. Okay, so let's come back here. Um, once you've got the codes and um, official scores from ETS can be received by PTCAS at any point during the application cycle, even after your application is submitted or verified. However, some programs may have a deadline by which they want your scores posted, okay? And that's the last acceptable GRE test date. So that's important to make sure that you're sending these scoring reports before those uh, deadlines that programs have posted, all right? So submitting your official scores to PTCAS, um, you're gonna self-report your GRE scores in the standardized text, test section, just like we talked about. And then make sure you have the correct codes provide the codes to ETS. So you're gonna go onto ETS's website and then request an official scoring report be sent. And then you uh, add those codes after you've verified that they are correct. And then um, after ETS processes, the scores are sent in batches to PTCAS and they're posted to applications every two to three business days, okay? So there is a little bit of a lag time. Please be patient and don't freak out. Now, if there are missing test scores, it is your responsibility to follow up on any missing GRE scores in a timely manner before contacting the PTCAS customer service, first to confirm if and when ETS sent your scores to PTCAS and confirm your program's PTCAS GRE code. If you confirm that ETS sent your scores to PTCAS and your scores are not posted at least two weeks after your test date, then contact customer service and provide them with the following details. And then it lists all these things. Um, we will use this information to determine if we have received a batch and to locate your scores if possible. If your scores aren't found, we will contact ETS to troubleshoot. All right, um, so this is just some things to walk through to make sure that you have all your ducks in a row. And it's very important, uh, as the saying goes, measure twice, cut once. Make sure you've got all of your information correct for all the schools, make sure you have your codes correct, and then you go and you submit your, your scores because these official scoring reports are between 25 to $30, right? I believe it's $27 uh, to send out each individual scoring report. So you want to make sure that you're not just doing this frivolously and that everybody is getting the scores. Um, so if you have additional questions about this, please don't hesitate to reach out to us and let us know. 
Um, this is an important area. And um, if there, there are programs that do not require the GRE and they aren't going to consider GRE scores, don't bother sending them your scores. Um, if it's going to be extra money, save yourself the money and only send it to places that require it or encourage it. Uh, thanks so much and enjoy the rest of your day. If you have um, concerns about getting your application completed or you're struggling to get your PTCAS or supplemental essays completed, um, go ahead and reach out to us and see if we have availability to be able to work with you to help you get your application completed and to make sure that you stand out from the crowd. Um, spots do fill up quickly, but if you are looking to get help, go ahead and reach out to us either, either uh, via DM or you can um, email us and inquire about that. Thanks so much and have an awesome rest of your day. Happy applying.